Markel, first, everybody <laughs> lost some minutes in favor of TJ McConnell oh, last boy. night. You're seeing the moment late in the second quarter where Fultz was about to check back in, but the Sixers went with McConnell instead. Mm. Brett Brown would not commit to a backup point guard going forward after the game. Then today, Fultz's agent Raymond Brothers said his client will see a shoulder specialist next week oh, wow. and will oh, not man. play or practice with the team until he sees the specialist. GML Rand later addressed the media and said the yeah. team supports Fultz but had no indication that there was anything medically wrong with Fultz's shoulder. So, Paul... <laughs> What should the Sixers do? Oh, no, no. What's going on? Was that for real? Yeah. Like, yeah. The double yeah. Like that, yeah. That That's a real <laughs> shot. No. Yeah. Mean, where are the shot specialists? Where are these coaches? Oh. What are these coaches saying to him in practice? Well, allegedly he had a, a shot specialist, know, and like, there was a, a, a an issue, and they parted ways, before, uh, according before, to the reporters. Before, before, before the yeah. draft, when we saw this kid as the potential number one pick, we never saw any of this. He had a nice shot. He was going to the rack. He was showing athleticism. And then he gets to the league. I'm like, what has happened? Look at this is yeah. a nice shot. He right. got a soft touch, straight up and down. Yeah. Now why don't they, why don't they go back to these tanks? Oh, that, that's Look good. what got you to be the number one pick. What's changed when you got into the league? You take these skills and you implement them into league play. I don't understand it. Why are people messing with his shot? He's saying you have to do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> is... Yeah, no, come on, though. No, okay, no, no, no wait. Do you no, think that it's... someone's actually teaching him to no. shoot that way? That's no. the yips, right? That's, that's no, just, I don't... Look, they tell me that Charles Barkley, once upon a time, had a nice, smooth golf swing. And then they say he went and saw a golf pro to kind of get some pointers. Yeah. And whatever that dude told him, the way go Barkley swings Barkley his golf Barkley wasn't the number one pick in golf. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was wasn't like Tiger he, Woods. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't Tiger coming yeah, in. Been better, man. No, but, but oh, the point is, man. this ain't a shoulder issue. Right. This is not a shoulder issue, man. I'm sorry. Last year, I was willing to be like, hey, the kid's hurt, whatever. But now... Look, there was no mention of him being sore or anything like that. So it's a mental issue. It's got to be, man. And especially be. when you say, my agent's the one that told me to go see a doctor. Right. And when the team is not, saying that they have no idea if there's anything wrong no, with him. No, not like, my, like... This is the first they're hearing. Like, there's a difference between this and, and, yeah. and people are going to draw a comparison <laughs> with Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi was like, I don't feel right. Y'all doctors say I'm good. I don't yeah. feel right. I'm going to get another opinion. This is just like, I'm not playing so, well, so. I mean, let me ask you this real quick. As a guy who worked in the front office, yeah. at what point do you consider him a distressed asset to the point where you think of dealing him? The problem is if you try to deal him now, it's not going to happen. The, the, the value is at absolute right. lowest. So right now, since he was your number one overall pick, you almost have to be I like, think they already in. knew, and that's why they tried to start him, to just see where it would go. Maybe he'll play well, show some flashes, then maybe deal him, but mm -hmm. it only seems like it's gotten worse. Yeah, so that. they need to do something. Okay.